13 through 17. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. But ye have received the spirit of adoption. What about we cry, our Father? The Spirit is bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. Basically what that is saying, everybody, is that we are joint heirs to the throne. So we need to be kingdom folks. Yes, sir. Kingdom-minded people. I had somebody come up to me the other day and ask me, well, are you a Christian? I said, no. I said, I'm a kingdom citizen. That's the difference. Because I have the ability to speak those things that are not. As if they are so, I have the ability yes, to do my hands on the sick and the sick be healed. I have the ability to speak to my financial situation. And everything that is not lined up with the world has to come under subjection to what I say. From the, from the beginning of the Bible all the way to the end, it's always been about the kingdom of heaven. Everything, all the way from Genesis to Revelation. Kingdom, kingdom, kingdom. The Bible is nothing but the constitution of the kingdom. The law of the kingdom. And we are the ambassadors of the kingdom. Yes, sir. We call it the word of God, which is his kingdom law. Amen. So what am I saying? What am I saying? We have to learn how to be kingdom minded. We have to learn to attack the devil by any cause, by any means necessary. Yes, with the power that God has given us, with the dominion that God has given us. He said, above all, I wish that you prosper and good health. Yes. We should be warning about things. Yeah. We should be stressed out. But we need to learn how to look to the hills from which come and not help. I want to help for us from the Lord. We have to learn to rely on our authority. On the authority of God. He has given us dominion. He has given us rule. We need to walk like it. We need to talk like it. We need to act like it. Yes. And our job Sometimes you gotta learn how to always fight. 
See, I don't know why some of y'all, but when I was in the world, I was a fighter. Every time you try to rap, I was fighting somebody. And it didn't matter if it was five of them and one of me. I was a fighter. So you know what? I learned how to fight spiritually too. I learned how to get on my knees and pray to my Holy Father. I learned how to pray and cast those demons that shouldn't be around me. Sometimes you got to speak in your flesh. Sometimes you got to speak to those demons around you. Sometimes you got to speak to the atmosphere. And tell the atmosphere to allow us to be here with God in your life. And the power of God. So let, let me explain something to you. When Jesus said you pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, the kingdom come. Yes, he ain't saying, when do we get up there? He said, the kingdom come. Yes, so if I was up there, we should be able to speak it down here. The kingdom come. The will be done. That's it. So now we said, we ain't talking about that. He said, in earth, the earth is in heaven. So when I was up in heaven, you have to to speak it down here. That's it! You don't want to speak fire because soon the fire will come down. Right now. 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 Right now.